Hi, my name is Anish. I'm the founder of Hipcask, an app about wines, beers, and whiskies. I'm at Arc, the bar at Courtyard by Marriott, and I want to do a great service today and bust some myths about drinking wine. Vintage does not imply that the wine is old. Vintage just simply means what year it is. So this is a young wine, this is 2014 vintage. You can have an old wine which is 1980, but every year is called a vintage. Wines with screw caps are inferior? No ways. So any wine which has a screw cap is not meant for aging. That's why it doesn't have a cork. And you know what the cool thing is? How you can open a bottle with screw caps? You don't do this, you hold like this, take your bottle, there you go. Right, left, no, I mean wrong. When it comes to wines, half empty or half full is the way to go. See how nicely I can swirl this? Perfect. This, nah, not so much. Rosé wines are not white wines and red wines mixed together, no. And it's not called rose either, it's called rosé and they're made with red wine grapes. Unless you've just won the Formula 1 race, this is the proper way to open a sparkling wine. Always make sure you have a finger above the cork. Pull the tab. Anti-clockwise, six times. That is it. Now hold the cork and you turn the bottle, not the cork. That's it. No mess, all yours to drink. Serving red wines at room temperature, absolutely perfect. If you're in France, not in India. You want to chill your wine slightly, just put it in the fridge for an hour before serving and you'll be absolutely fine. Well, the whole uh, saying of white wines with white meat and red wines with red meat, that's a great saying, but with Indian food that kind of changes, right? Because if I have a delicate white fish prepared in really spicy gravy, the flavor profile completely changes. So in India, think about your spices with your wines rather than your meat with your wines. Expensive wines are great, but so are some reasonably priced wines. So here's a very cool reasoning from France. This is about 3,000 rupees. This is a very good reasoning from India, about 800 rupees. They're both great wines. Well, you use cheap wine in sangria? Not a good option. At the end of the day, 50% of your sangria is your wine. So get a good wine. You don't have to splurge and get a very expensive wine, but get a reasonable wine which you like. Of course, you won't compromise on bad fruit to add to your sangria. Why compromise on the wine? Once you've opened a bottle of wine, drink it. At the max, keep it in your fridge for two days. Anything longer than that, unless you like drinking vinegar by the glass, shouldn't do it. All wine should be stored horizontally. Not completely true. Again, coming back to screw caps. If it's a screw cap, you, you, can, you can store it vertically. It's only that when a wine has cork, you want to keep it horizontally so the cork doesn't dry out. That's about it. How's that for some education, huh? And I'm telling you all of these tips are just gonna help you impress a date next time. Even if you're at a bar talking to someone, all of these things come handy. If you have some tips of your own, don't forget to comment and like, share, and subscribe to Lakme School of Style.